I don't like you, but I love you. Seems that I'm always thinking of you, though oh, you treat me badly. I love you, madly. You really got a hold on me. Oh, what y'all know about that? You really got a hold on me. Baby, I love you. And all I want you to do is just hold me, hold me, hold me, hold me. <laughs> good morning, good afternoon, good afternoon, good evening, family. Whatever side of the diaspora that you're on, welcome, welcome to this place I call the mental house, where it's crazy up in here, okay? It is really crazy. And the more I look at the condition of the low thinking counterparts on this planet at this time i get really concerned now most of y'all know that young thug has got he's 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 facing rico charges he's he's under a rico trial okay um and in the midst of this criminal trial most people my age know that the first thing you want to do is you really want to impress the court okay Having manners go a long damn way, and some of y'all think that having manners mean that you a sellout. Having manners mean that you no, you're that means you're really ignorant. You're really a low vibrational person if you don't understand that the court, no matter how bullshit it is, it's what runs America, okay. And at some point, you have to have respect for these institutions, especially if you want them to have res uh, some kind of mercy on you, okay? And I'm saying this because I cannot believe that this lawyer, these lawyers, these young men, they got a lot of money. I wish they could call me in and let me uh, mentor them, talk to them for a minute, okay? Like a grandma. I say, let me tell you something. That dumbass shirt you got on there, that you gonna listen? They're already got how they feel about you on wax anyway. Now, how in the world would you have a shirt on that reads "Sex Records"? I don't care what it's an acronym for; it's inappropriate. It don't even look right. And then you are gonna put under that "Truly Humble Under God." What the? F you see these people looking at you that look like they sitting in church? What do you think they think about some uh, crap like this if you walked into the church? Most of them would say, baby, I think you need to go change that shirt. Now, Granny, you ain't going outside with Granny with that damn shirt on. What you going to do, beat your grandmama up? Some of y'all probably would. But let's get into this story. Young Thug who was in the midst of a criminal trial in Atlanta, donned a white dress shirt that read, Sex Records. Truly humble under God. I, I, and I don't even understand the acronym. I don't, I don't understand how he got that out there. What the? F are you reading, bro? Jeffrey, are you reading? The young thug... This is, this is the arena they leave us to dance in. And we bite the bait every time, just like a damn bass or a crappie. Just bite this bait. I mean, who? It's bad enough that you're calling yourself that, right? Okay, because you're calling all that energy to yourself. So, Mr. Young Thug, I know you're real. Your mama named you Jeffrey, so that's what I'm going to call you. He wore a black tie to round out to his ensemble, which did not interrupt proceedings. Look at this. In what marked the 15th day in the RICO trial in which Young Thug's friend, Tron Tavius Tick Stevens, testified. 
I mean, one user said, hmm, not a great choice. IMO, but okay. While another one commented that it was not the best a courtroom attire. I feel that his attire of a man, uh, um, he said, somebody said, I feel this is the attire of a man who knows he's cooked. Really? Another user commented that the shirt was inappropriate for court, and this is what I say his attorneys should have advised him that this was wicked, that this was totally inappropriate. First of all, if you read, and if you was, and I know you don't, and so I should stop that, but if you had anybody in your ear that was of any substance, they would have said, bro, you can't, don't, don't, don't wear that. Our job is to, imp is to at least, uh, Impressed. This is our this is our last showing before life or death. Pretty much, either I'm free or I'm a, pretty much a dead man in storage. Who wants to be put away in storage? And he don't have nobody in his ear like that. He's so big that y'all let him walk out the door with that damn shirt on. Well, I shouldn't say walk out the door. Walk out the cell. <laughs> let him. What kind of attorney does this guy have? In the trial, prosecutors alleged that Young Thug led a violent street gang called the Young Slime Life, or YSL, that was responsible for killing, shooting, carjackings, and other crimes for over a decade. Mm, 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 mm. Prosecutors alleged that he used his successful music career and social media posts to promote the gang and establish its dominance. Uh, this is another one of Fonnie Willis's um, babies. The defense attorney have said that police and prosecutors relied heavily on jailhouse informants who had every reason to tell them what they wanted to hear. Now, that's what the defense says. They have also criticized prosecutors' use of rap lyrics as evidence of crimes, saying their clients' art and free expression are being improperly used against them. Really? Really? Like I said, for me, you know, if I lived in the hood, I know I could raise up the window and hear that madness all times of the day. Why wouldn't I challenge myself to talk about something that was different? To me, that's the test of your, your uh, creativity. Not me raising up my damn window and hear a bunch of Negroes acting a fool, and then I'm going to go there, and then I'm going gonna, I'm, I'm gonna, to uh, make that my mantra? Who's behind that? Who is actually behind that? Anyway, he also was charged with gang, drug, and crime, and gun uh, crime, and is standing trial with five others who were indicted with him. Forty... Fulton County Prosecutor Adrian Love didn't dispute that Young Thug is a talented artist, but she said that he exploited his gift for a darker purpose, using his songs, clout, and social media to promote and establish the dominance of his game. Young Slime Life. What say y'all? What say y'all? Y'all okay with him wearing that shirt? Because I want to know where you stand. It's ridiculous. And all these people who said he's not a creator, he's trying to pull people out of poverty. You didn't have enough sense to tell him that he's charged with corruption. He's charged under the RICO Vi Act, and he, he can't do no better. That's the only shirt he got. I see he gained a few pounds, but just like you got him that shirt, I'm sure you could have gave him another one. It was pure inappropriate. That's all I can say, Doug. And I guess your name just verifies why you would put something on like that. At the end of the day, it is what it is. If you like what you hear, please like, subscribe, and share your channel. What say y'all? What, what say y'all about that young slime life? And putting on the shirt. Sex records. <laughs> Humble under God. What the... What the church? What the church say? Look at them, y'all. 
They ain't saying amen. 